Actually, this is so applicable in our day, especially for young people, right? So many times we're like, do I know Jesus? Of course I do. I grew up in a Christian home. Of course. I was baptized. Of course. I went through confirmation. Of course I, I know Jesus. I went on service projects. I went to church like every Sunday. Of course I know Jesus. God's word is saying it's not about the information in your head. It's not about being able to recall the right verses and get the right answers that each of us would do well to examine our faith in Jesus and ask ourselves, man, do I believe that my sin separates me from God? Do I believe that my sin is offensive? Do I believe that I'm a sinner? Do I believe that I'm worthy of his judgment? Do I believe that I'm worthy of hell to be eternally separated from God? Do you believe that? And then do I believe that Jesus became God in the flesh stepped into human history to take all of that guilt, all of that shame, all of that sin on himself at the cross. Do I believe that? That somebody walked on this earth and took my sin at the cross and conquered it in the resurrection. Do I believe that? Each of us need to ask ourselves that question. Do I believe that? And not just do you believe that Jesus is your Savior, but do you believe that Jesus is your Lord, that he holds authority over all things, that he is the one who spoke creation into existence, that he knows how life is supposed to look. And so when he says he gives you abundant life, that's not just in heaven, that's today. And so you're in awe of Jesus so that you believe and you want to follow him willingly, not because of mom, not because of a class, not because of a baptism, but because you're in awe. How could you not? That's faith in Jesus.